named uh, Chef Herman. <laughs> We're going to be cooking some mac and cheese. It's going to be the Cracker Bell variety, uh, sharp white cheddar. Um, I don't know how to make this, so this is going to be an experience for both of us. Okay, well, as my dearest mother informed me, we just fill it up halfway with water. So now we have our uh, half filled cup pot of water. Put it on the burner. This needs to boil, right, Mom? Yeah. Okay. Now, I think the correct way to do this is to do something like that. Just get the macaroni. So, here's your box of macaroni. And I think what we're supposed to do. Here we have our delectable pot of water. So you can tell it's not boiled, so we're gonna crank that heat up. So at this point, we're just waiting for it to boil. So uh, let's play the knife game, shall we? So I guess what I can do is I can do a review of a banana. So here we have a nice, healthy banana. You can tell that it's very healthy because it's not bruised at all. So most people eat their banana, it's just like this, personally. Mash mine up. Mash it up a bit. And I'm just gonna. So we're just gonna put the rest of the knives back. Cause we're not crazy. So, um. I need to clean my mess. If not, my uh, landlord is gonna yell at me. AKA my mother. Having some technical, technical difficulties. See? When I was in the IT class, they uh, never went over this portion. I mean, I still don't even know how to load paper in a printer, for Christ's sakes. There we go. So, the water is still boiling. So, we shall take a look at the directions. So... Oh boy. Should I pick it up, Mom? No. Okay, cool. So, the water's still boiling. Okay, so we have to cook it for 11 to 12 minutes. So, this is where... Our trusty microwave comes in handy. See this digital display here? This is state-of-the-art technology. Like, not, not that many people have this. So, with this button right here where it says timer, we will be able to uh, go back in time. See, if we want to go back to uh, 1985. So this is where, this is uh, the time when the original Nintendo was released. So we could pick that up, we can get a whole bunch of them, and then we can come back to the future and sell them for a bunch of money. Because yeah, right now we're in the year 219. Oh, the water's going. Ooh, that is a hot boy right there. So we're going to turn that down. And now comes the fun part. Where we take the macaroni and we dump it in. So we're going to turn it back up a bit. I'm going to stir it up just a little bit. And we always want to put the timer on 1180. So we're going to wait for 1180 to come. So we will need a strainer so we can strain all the water out. Now, personally, I would just use my hands, but I think I'd probably get burned by that. So I'm going to use this thing called a colander. Now, if you had some Flex Seal, <laughs> I really wish that we were endorsed by Flex Tape and Flex Seal. I, I love Phil Swift so much. Now, if you had Flex Seal, what you could do is you could just take this and just fill it up with Flex Seal. Then you have a bowl. So essentially, you've made a bowl from a colander. So, there's no need for one of these. You just have one of these and get Flex Seal on it. Phil Swift, you're welcome for that endorsement. So, we need to stir this some more so that our macaroni does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Now, from what I've heard is this cheese is extremely, um, well, good. It's uh, basically liquid glue because it's so cheesy and it's so thick that you could probably glue this pan to the ceiling with, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon. teaspoon. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this colander, put it in here. We're going to move this down because that has a bunch of germs on it. We don't want that because that's icky, icky. So every once in a while, we'll just come over here, continually stir it every once in a while. Make sure that none of it gets stuck at the bottom. Uh, this this episode is sponsored by um, Kraft Heinz. They make all sorts of ketchup products, like um, 
Craft and Pines. What year are we at now? We are at year 830 AD. Slowly so take it down to 0 AD. So, um, in the meantime, what we can do is we can get the bowls ready. So, we have our bowls. Take them over here. They're now ready. So we need to start again because it's getting a little bit angry. Like when I play my music too loud and my mother yells at me. So while we're continuously waiting for the mac and cheese to most likely start a fire and burn down this whole house, because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing because I'm not a cook and I fix computers. What would you like to drink, sir? Water? All right. Um, is there a specific glass that you would like? Ah, a man of culture, I see. So now we start up some more. So now we go over to the ice maker. Now the issue with this one is uh, it's not very good. So we're just going to go inside here. We're just going to take our hand. Um, and then we take the water. Very, very nice water. Fill it up. The cheese is boiling like crazy. So, uh, what year are we looking at now? 523 AD. I don't understand why dogs love ice cubes so much. Because, like, they're just. It's crunchy water. That's all it is. Ice is just crunchy water. Steam is just some moron vaping. So we have uh, four, uh, we are at 433 AD. Cameraman, can you not get so close to my, say, my <laughs> face? Okay. I'm not sure what to do while we are waiting for this. I mean, what we can do is we can be eco-friendly, is uh, um, we can break down the spots, and we can put it in the recycling to save the environment. Because every time, every time a box like that gets destroyed, or it gets sent to a landfill. One children, one children in Africa starves. So you break down the box like this. Now this isn't the proper way to do it, but if you're cool like me, and nobody can be cool like me, trust me. You take the box and you put it into the recycling void. So we have 313 AD until our mac is done. We still need to wait for the cheese to be done, which I haven't put that on the stove. Now, the most important thing that you need to do is when making dinner or lunch or any sort of food is to set the table. So, what you'll need is paper towels. Doesn't matter how big they are. That's what she said. <laughs> put it right there. Then, you take your drink, you just pop it down. So that's how you set up a table. So, typically, use forks. So we'll put them in the bowl for now. And this needs more stirring because it's getting foamy. Like a rabid dog. And you can't have those. This is like an unentertaining thing in existence. <laughs> Seriously. The only funny thing that happened was when I ate the banana. <laughs> like everything else isn't funny. Like we're gonna get horrible, horrible reviews. Our show's gonna be shut down. CNN is still making fake news, so they're probably going to make some sort of fake news about us, and, you know, and it'll end up being true. I, I, I don't know what to do, man. The, the wife's going to the wife's gonna leave me. We're going to take the kids with, with her. Um, I'm probably going to be living in a cardboard box on the, side of the, on, on the side of the street eating mac and cheese. This is, this is going to be my meal for the rest of my life. Hey, Mom, how do you make a cooking show more entertaining? Perfect idea. See, we're gonna do some underage drinking right now. So, um, so we have a bottle of Jack Daniels, see? So, we're gonna do a little bit of drinking, because this is how you make everything better. <coughs> I don't understand how people can drink this stuff. It's like liquid acid. It's horrible. Um, Okay, the wine idea didn't work. Oh, we have 38 seconds left, and I need to start up to stir the other side. We, have, we are at 30 AD right now. So, I think we'll just take it off for the rest of the time. 
what we can do at this point, since it's pretty much boiled, turn that off. We have about 18 seconds left, so we'll just let it sit there for a bit. Now what we need to do is we need to cut this open. So I'm probably gonna stab myself, but who cares at this point? Always cut away from you. That's what I've learned. Oh, we are now in 1100 AD. So now what we'll need to do is this this part can be very tricky. You'll most likely die. So we'll finish, do one last stir. Make sure all the macaroni is off the bottom. Take the pan. Just pour it in. Point I can't see anything, but we got pretty much all of it out. So let me grab the spatula. This is where the spatula comes in handy. Just knead it on in there. So now, all the macaroni is in the bucket. So now what we do is take the strainer, just kind of shuffle, shuffle the macaroni, make sure all the water's out. See how there's still water? See how there's still water in, uh, water getting out of this? Getting this camera, man? So, we're about good there. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to cut this open. So we need to use scissors. And remember, safety. Oh, that didn't go good. Is number one priority. So, I'm gonna cut this open. Alright. So now, four, the back back into the bowl. Now oh, that's a lot of mac. Take the cheese, just squeeze it on out. I'll bet you'll have, probably have to get in slow-mo, this is gonna be nice. Look at all that cheese. Now that is just asking to clog up the right there. That's how you're most likely gonna get heart failure, is with this cheese. So, the cheese is almost out of the container. Almost all of that, you want to get all of it out. Every single last bit of it. That's what she said. <laughs> now comes for the tricky part. You have to get all of this mac covered with cheese. So now we just continuously mix it up. And this will be some of the most cheesiest mac and cheese you'll ever have in your life. I forgot the most important step of this. You need to be wearing some sort of casual apparel, like if you were in college and you were poor, in order to make mac and cheese. Because most poor people who are in college eat mac and cheese. Because it's all the that's all that they can afford. And now, comes for the fun part. We shall now distribute the mac and cheese between the two bowls. I swear to God, I better not mess this up after all this time. So I'll just pour it right in there. Now that is a beautiful sight to be told. Right and as you can tell, it's not evenly distributed. That's okay. So we'll just take a little bit from this. Pour it right in there. Try to evenly distribute it as possible. So that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you make mac and cheese. On the next episode, we'll be uh, teaching you how to make uh, a steak. It's gonna be a big step up. I'm chef. I'm I'm chef. <laughs>